Lathe is a free open source uh, package that you can install on Ubuntu Linux and it's a lot like a deep freeze and I'm just going to show you this is deep freeze in Windows 7 um, and basically you know, when I bring this screen up right now I'm in frozen mode and I can boot in thawed mode and um, what this program it's, it's great for kiosks um, you know places like schools and large companies where you have lots of computers that are unattended or, or you know maybe unsupervised because it um, locks down an operating system. So you know any changes I make while this operating system is in a frozen state, if I delete something, a DLL, or you know I, I could destroy the registry, um, or I might go to a bad website and get a horrible virus or something, doesn't matter. When it's booted in a frozen state, um, those states are are you know any, anything I do to it, it's not a permanent change to the hard drive. It's just sort of written to a, a, a loop in memory. And those changes are undone every time I reboot. And, and you know, if if I want to make an intentional change, like install a service pack or install a new application or something, then I simply thaw it out and reboot it. And then in the thawed state, it's just like a normal computer where all the changes you make to it are permanent. Um, in addition, you can configure a thaw space to save data on that's not frozen, or you can do multiple partitions. And this is what I do on all my laptops and my desktops and um, you know, I, I use it at work a lot, but um, you know, basically, I'll have partitions that are thawed where I store, you know, data files and projects and things I'm working on, um, and they retain their changes. And then I'll keep the operating system partition uh, frozen. So it's a nice program in Windows, um, but it can be a bit pricey. Um, it's put out by Pharonix. So there's a free open source version we're going to take a look at today. Um, you know, for Ubuntu Linux, it's called Lathe. And the first thing I want to do is open Firefox and actually get um, the lathe package. So I'm going to go to SourceForge, home of many wonderful things. Um, and I want to go to Projects, Lathe, and then Files. And Ubuntu is a Debian system, so I want the Debian package. And there's a deb file. I'm just going to click on it and download it. shouldn't take too long. It's not very large. Come on. Trying to resolve. All right, there we go. So I found, and then 8.7 kilobytes, downloaded it, saved it. And if your Firefox is set up like mine with the default settings, it'll put it into the home downloads folder. But I want to use a command prompt to install this. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to enlarge this a little bit so you can hopefully see a little bit better. And I'm going to go into downloads and I'll do a long listing and notice that I don't have execute permission on the lathe Debian package. So I need to modify that. And at a minimum, I could do sudo chmod 755, a little bit more 775. If I did 777, that would be overkill, but who cares? It's just one file in that folder. So sudo chmod777, and I'm going to use wildcard because there's only one file. And I'm lazy, and I don't want to type out everything. So now I have execute permission all the way across. The next thing I want to do is use sudo and the dpackage command, and the dash i option to install. And again, I would type out the package name, or I could use a wildcard if I don't want to type all of that. And it will read the database, and now it's going to set up lathe. Okay, I'll kind of move this up a little bit, hopefully. And it's working. Okay, and now Lathe has been installed um, on this configuration. And then the next thing I want to do is um, I can, you know, if if I were to look at my, my boot menu now, it will show up. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and reboot, and we'll take a look at what that looks like in the boot menu. Um, and the easiest way to do that
Now when we, you reboot, if you have a multi-boot system like we had previously, you won't have to hold down the shift key. But if you only have Ubuntu or one operating system under Grub2, you'll need to hold down or depress the shift key while you're booting to get to the menu options. And you can see the default one is to boot frozen with lathe. And so if I choose this option and boot, any changes I make will not be permanent changes. So if I install something or if I delete files or create files or you know, modify things or if I get infected with a virus, it's only temporary until the next time I reboot. And normally for day-to-day -day activities, that's what I want. I'll boot up in a frozen mode and use my laptop as a kiosk. Um, on those special occasions where I need to you know, update something or install software or make changes, then I will boot into this mode, the non-frozen mode, and select this option here. And then when I'm done, I can reboot in a frozen mode. So that's sort of option one. And I'm going to choose this option. We're gonna, now we're going to hide this. You know, let's say this were a public kiosk or something. You might want to hide the fact that you're using Lace from you know, the typical user. So I'm going to boot up unfrozen this time. Okay, and now I'm back at the boot menu. And remember, if it's a single boot system and not multi-boot, you'll have to hold down the shift key to get the menu to pop up. So just leave it depressed until you see this menu. And let's say that I wanted to hide this. Um, rem remember where your grub2 configuration files are. I could go into the forward slash etc forward slash um, grub.d folder. And there's a menu entry on this system. It's um, prefixed with 9. I could open that up in a text editor and I could comment out the menu entry so you wouldn't see it. And that way it would boot frozen, but, but you know, to the average, uh, to the uh, occasional observer, it wouldn't appear to be frozen. And if I wanted to, you know, without the system, I could simply hit E. And if that were a hidden option, I could go in here and just take out a UFS equals temporary file system. And if I remove that line, so you know, you could achieve a similar effect and maybe hide the fact that it were frozen if it were a public kiosk or, or something like that, and that was your desire. Or if it's you know, just for for a typical um, you know home system, you you probably leave the menu like this, so that way you can toggle easily back and forth between frozen and thawed mode when you boot.